Alright, we're just doing a uh, quick demonstration of our alternate method of uh, doing a drift launch from the boat with the lines coiled in a five gallon bucket. As you can see, um, kite's about three quarters of the way inflated and so I'll leave it like that and then I bend the ends of the kites in to hook the lines up. So I'm going to hook the lines up and then we'll demonstrate uh, drifting the kite from the boat and then just launching right from the boat. This looks like a bit of a mess, but we did an earlier video on the bucket method and how we coil the lines. It looks like a mess, but believe it or not, it comes out really well. When we put the kite in the water, we'll actually just be throwing the lines right out of the bucket into the water. Um, so what I'm going to do now to get ready for this is I'm actually going to hook the bar to the boat, hook my chicken loop to the uh, ski ring. Angle. Whenever you're rigging your bucket, whatever one of the tricks we've not learned is keep your center lines and swivels out of the bucket because they do snag the lines. So now I'm going to set this off to the set the bucket off to the side I'm going to launch on. Now I'm looking better for this side. All right, we'll launch on this side. Go underneath the bar, and I'm actually connecting it to a D-ring here on the ski point. Connected my chicken loop. You can see that. And then, just as an extra measure of safety. Hook to the boat. We can go ahead and hook the leash to the boat as well. Now this way, if we have any problems when it goes, we still have the same safety that we had if the kite was tied to us. Always tied to the boat. Operating entirely with us today. It usually happens when we film. I'm hooking the kite from the D ring. And the kite goes into the wind. And now the trick is just to stay ahead of the kite drift and feed the lines out. So they're coming out of the bucket nice and clean a little time to straighten out anything with your bar. As you can see, we hook to the boat. If anything's wrong, it's no real big deal. Tight lines will start to unwind themselves. And voila, we have a kite ready to launch. Now we can just hook it up and go. Hot on that launch, but it doesn't matter because the wind is so light. Obviously, I would be more careful and launch more of that. It was a little heavier. So, in the boat, in the kite, in the water. Be careful not to slack your lines going into the water. A lot of times, when you jump, if it's light wind, just jumping out into the water will slack the lines and the kite will die. Of course, for those of you who kite in respectful winds, that's not a problem. 